Well, this is Scott with Marcus Mayhem Adventures. Um, yesterday, I started up a new project. Uh, this truck's not, as I have the normal power wagon issue of not wanting to the lockers to engage without having to go through a bunch of figure eights and what we like to call the locker dance. So I, in order to have to do all this and hold up the uh, convoys in Moab, I'm gonna go ahead and just make life easier in general. I started with a locker bypass, or excuse me, a uh, I hardwired my lockers so I am just running wires straight from the um, lockers to a relay to a sw with a switch that way I don't have to worry about the smart bar or doing anything like that and just have instant engagement of our lockers all right to start I found me a keyed ignition point or power point um, it is just a spare, had a 15 amp in it. I went ahead and got an out of circuit, um, added a, put a 30 amp in it, drilled a small hole through here and uh, ran it through. Um, I'm just using butt connectors and your normal crimp on style, but they have the shrink wrap with the glue sealant in them. Hopefully it'll be a little more resistant. I'll take in, um, silicone these up when I'm all done to help. This is what I've got. Um, power wagons and Moabs is, and Moab is just a few weeks away, so trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. And to start the circuit off, found, got this, uh, your uh, power for your fuse block. There, with another 30 amp fuse in it. Going in, um, lots of videos on how to do relays. This is my first time doing it. I am not even a novice. I am highly amateur, dumb on electronics. This is my first successful use of a relay and wiring anything. But I also go over the biggest components here. Um, so as far as wiring, this is coming from, for the rear axle, you have this large um, wire loom here. You're looking for the yellow, gray, and the yellow, white. And I went as far forward as I pretty much could easily get to. Left myself a little bit of um, room here. I can pull that out the loom in case I want to return it back. I've got room to work. Um, I just took the little you want for your power. You want to use your yellow white. All right. And you run that up to 87 here. Where you have your bat fuse battery source on 30. And then your run from 87 down to your whatever you want to enter so in this case the source power the power wire how you want to word it on the locker which is the yellow wire with a white line now the yellow wire with the gray line this is your ground wire you take and run the ground wire up and there is a ground connection right here in a convenient spot. That's where I connected it. That's also the route that I'm running all my wiring over here. I will get a harness and get everything nice and pretty once everything's wired. Okay, then you take your, your uh, add a circuit. You run it from the fuse block through the firewall I chose to just point to a little hole in the grommet. I believe it's the one yes the shifter and then it's right there by the steering column from the wires behind there. There are videos on how to tear apart the console if you need to learn how to do that. And then you run that to your sort over here to where it says supply volts 
and you take another one and run it from there back through the firewall focus pin 86 and then from pin 85 we get here 85 you run a ground and the one I checked up again picked one there to run my ground the final piece of the puzzle if you're running a illuminated uh, switch like I am is you run that to a ground I found this bolt here it's a pretty good ground for this um, I'm choosing to set it up to where forward is off and back towards you is on it energizes the locker to me this would prevent more or prevent you from having um accidental engagement of your lockers it won't it will help just you know bumping things forward happens pulling not so much you know if you want to completely prevent this well, i'm not saying pretty completely but um, you can add another switch in line to the powers so you have to switch it first to energize electricity to here. I think this will be fine. If it becomes an issue, then I will probably end up doing that. Okay, so got my fuse battery power coming to 30. And then I have a wire. We'll run back here and I will come up here to the location of my source wire for the locker. You are looking for the yellow wire with the orange stripe. That is your source wire, that is your power wire, that's what engages your front locker. All right, I got it spliced together. Next, you're looking for the yellow and green and you'll run that again i chose that ground right there okay that's them sorted out yellow and orange to energize the locker that's your 12 volt source and yellow and green runs to ground all right instead of uh running a whole nother 12 volt source wire um, from the fuse box, I'm just going to use, I'm going to cheat, not the best way, but it's the way I want to do it, um, and use one of these quick splice, to splice in and then run another, um, 12 volt source up to my other switch. Okay, oh shoot, I don't know if you can see you now. Anyways, um, I made one, this one a little bit longer, not least, so I knew that it's just going to be going further away so maybe a tad bit longer but it's also so that whenever i put everything together i know the shorter one goes to the first switch longer one goes to the second switch that way they don't get easier to tell them apart okay next we'll be going from whoop for one take a wire from your it says on accessory so this is going Go from here back to the relay. All right, it's found it's easier. I don't have to guess me on wire so much. You kind of loosely unspool, pull it through, go through the grommet, through the firewall, up over, and then terminate it at. It was 86 I believe on this one, all right? 86, yeah. That's your switch. And then after this, I'll take and cut it and wire it into, into the switch. All right, next I'll be wiring up the ground for the lights. Here, there, just take that one. Okay, now we got the ground wire going from the switch to the bolt. Now I only have one more thing to do. 
All right, last thing. I gotta run a ground from pin 80, was it 85? That last one, oops, excuse me, that one last one there. To that ground connection there. All right, well, everything should be hooked up now properly. Get the ground to the ground post. Now I'm gonna hook up my battery and test my switches. Yeah. All right, well, battery's hooked up. No sparks. Let's see here, let's uh, test switches first. Is there no, so no key, nothing's on. All right, gonna turn. Sorry if you weren't, didn't see that. All right, All right on. Ah, switch one works, switch two works. All right, awesome. So you got front and rear should be engaged. Now let's test them. Okay, so I've got the truck on and in neutral. So, tire spins. And lock the rear. Boom. Locked. All right, got lockers. Let's test the front. Okay, so got the front and my chalk block back there. Free spin. Okay, so I got chalk block back there. Truck's in park. Um, I don't have a uh, CAD, so I don't have to worry about having a four-wheel drive. But just so we can see, completely open. Keys off. Sorry. There we go. Nothing. Now let's, put, let's turn it on. Alright, lights on. No. And boom. Got lockers. Front and rear. Woohoo. Okay, and now let's see if turn the truck off. Light turns off. There we go. Turn the truck back on. Light turns on. We're locked. And now both will be locked, but I don't have it on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so now that's all for today. Tomorrow I will dress this up and put everything together and show you the final product.